Um, yes, come on in. Okay, um, hi everybody, I'm Carolina. I'm part of the marketing department. So I'm gonna just give you a little bit of an introduction of the course. Uh, first, we can have a few words from Mark. Mark is our director, so he can tell you a little bit about the school. Hello everybody and welcome. As um, Carolina just said, my name is Mark. I'm the managing director of Charter Australia. Uh, Charter Australia was founded uh, in 2005 by Ming Chen, who is our CEO. Uh, we're a registered training organization. You may or may not be familiar with that term. We often just say RTO for short. It means that we have all the necessary government uh, authorities to operate as a school and to train you so that when you train here and you get a certificate, that's the real certificate that will be recognised nationally in Australia and across every state. Uh, we specialise in professional career training um, and we have a specialist focus now on healthcare uh, because that's a growing area. There are many jobs in that industry in Australia. Uh, many of the people we train go straight into jobs in the industry. Um, we'd be very happy if you come here and train with us. We're a specialist school that doesn't have hundreds of students. We like to have smaller classes so we can focus intensively on each student and respond to their needs individually. Um, I'm talking too long. I'll let uh, Theresa and Carolyn get on with the call. Okay, so like you guys know, we're here to do our new course that's called English for Healthcare and Nursing. This is, will be our first uh, group with the group necessary in September. And the course focuses on helping you students that either want to study something about nursing or that I want to work in nursing. I know many, most of you are already nurses in the country. So it will help you learn the terminology, the vocabulary, the things you need when you go to work. Our teacher, one of our two teachers will be Teresa. And the great thing with Teresa is she is a nurse in Australia, like you said. She has a lot of experience and she's very, very keen to help you and teach you anything you want to know, anything you need to know for where you go and work in Australia, about this, the, the system in Australia and the experience in it. Okay, so uh, I will let you today to try a club with her. She's really great teacher, really passionate and really fun. Thank you. So I'll leave you with Teresa for today. Thank you. So for the latecomers, I'll just write my name. If my first name is a little bit tricky to say, Teresa, just call me Tess. Okay, Tess. Uh, for those of you who are late, just a quick introduction. Um, again, I'm Teresa or Tess. I'm a registered nurse. I'm also an English language teacher. I've started nursing since 2007. And here in Australia, I started my nursing in 2013, February. So it's been a long journey for me as a nurse. So you're in good hands. So I know English and I know nursing. Okay, best combination. All right, let's start. So this afternoon, you're all going to learn about different hospital jobs and describe what people in a hospital do and lastly describe routines and activities on the different jobs that you're going to be learning. Okay? So before we start, I'm going to show you a short video and while you're watching the video, think about the different people, the different worker that you see, okay? You're going to think about the different worker that you see in the video. It's a very short one. Ready? Responsive on the side of the road by police. Apparently, per another bystander, he was assaulted multiple punches and kicks to his head. When we arrived, he was still unresponsive, however, just not tolerating a Dell airway. En route, he's become combative to this state now. We need to get this out of the way. 
this gentleman into the CT scanner as soon as we possibly can. Our issue at the moment is that he's so combative that we're not able to even image his brain and his spine to see if there's any injuries there. So he's a danger to himself currently. My name's Kirsty. I'm one of the doctors on today, okay? Hi, it's your man. The more you draw, the more that you fight. Okay? You're going to be in the morning. Alright. Three. I'm coming back in three. One, two, three. They won't often know quite how dangerous their behaviour is to their to their condition. It's a very alarming situation for anybody at the best of times. We're really worried about your neck, so you need to keep your head still. Eight, you will do yourself a mischief. Say no. At the moment, we have no choice in that we're unable to take him through to the scanner to see if he's got a bleed in the brain or a, a fracture to his spine unless we give him this medication. King's Cross ER, St. Vincent's Hospital. Okay, so that was quite interesting. Um, I think that was really exciting. Are you ready to be an emergency department nurse? An ER nurse? Yes. King's Cross. So this is in St. Vincent's Hospital. Okay. Have you been? Have you seen St. Vincent's Hospital in King's Cross? Near King's Cross Station. It's a very big hospital and also very popular. Okay. All right. So ideas class. The workers. Who did you see? Police. Police. Very good. Any more? Who else? Who else? Doctor. Okay. This side. Who else did you see? Paramedic. Very good. One more. One more. Yes. So, do you agree? Okay, now we're going to learn more workers, okay? You're going to learn new vocabulary, some new, some old, with regards to workers in a hospital, okay? Or the police, they still work with the hospital, okay? All the time, especially in King's Cross. Okay, so in the next activity, you're going to do this as a group. Okay, so I have here different workers. And then here on this little piece of paper, the names of the workers, okay? You're going to match them and you're going to work as a group. Got it. Thank you. Um, if you wish, you can return to your seats, okay? Thursday, so. so, let's start with this first. Everybody, what's this? Who are they? Louder?
when you see the receptionist, then you can see the doctor. Okay, this is just a doctor, doctor. Okay, doctor. Everyone, doctor. One more time, doctor. Okay. Where's the stress? First syllable. This she is a special kind of doctor. Who is she? She is a Louder? Okay, just listen, okay? Pediatrician. 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 Everybody? Pediatrician. One more time? Pediatrician. Just listen, everybody, okay? Listen. Pediatrician. 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 One more time, this group? Pediatrician. Louder? Pediatrician. Yeah, this group? Pediatrician. One more time? Pediatrician. Okay. So, where's the syllable? Where's the stress? Where's the stress? Let's write it down. Pediatrician. Pediatrician, okay, pediatrician class, the, this is the, the British Australian spelling, okay? The American spelling, no A, okay? All right. As long as you're consistent, if you want to use British Aussie spelling, be consistent. If you want to use American spelling, that's fine. Okay? Both are correct. Okay? Who's this? Okay. Radiographer. Everybody, just listen. Okay? Just listen. Radiographer. Radi radiographer. Radiographer. Everybody? Radiographer. Okay, this group? later you can go for a radio being a radiographer nurse okay you have to study extra so think about it so he is a or she is a again everybody no no she, she checks the x-ray results so one more time Is 
in this side, not touching the patient, just here with the instrument. She is a very good scrub nurse. Um, who was in the theater again at the back? Were you a scrub nurse? Wow. How about this guy? Louder? You know this, you already know this. Anesthetist, okay? Okay. So just listen everyone, anesthetist. Anesthetist, everybody? Anesthetist. One more time. Anesthetist. This group? Anesthetist. This group? Anesthetist. Takes a bit of practice, but one more, okay? Just listen. Anesthetist. 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 Better. Anesthetist. I get this better. Good. So, just to show you. An anesthetist is a special kind of doctor. They can work in the hospital. Can they also work in a dental clinic? Dental clinic? Yes? Yes. He's also a special kind of doctor that will visit different hospitals and clinic because he is an expert. So who is he? He is a consultant. So just listen, everyone. Consultant. Consultant. Everyone? Consultant. Very good. Oh, I already told you. Again, who is this? Oh, very good. I just have a funny photo. So that's me. I also did scrub nursing before. How about her? Everyone? One more time? Very good. This guy? Okay, let's do that. Let's do this together. Everyone just listen, okay? Listen. Physiotherapist. Physiotherapist. Everybody? Physiotherapist. This group? Physiotherapist. So here in Australia, physiotherapist is a mouthful. So they just call them physio. Okay? I need to go to my physio and see my physio and have a physiotherapy. Okay? Physio. Ah, this one's easy. Everyone? Lab technician. Okay? Lab technician. Just listen. Lab technician. Lab technician. So there are two words. Where are you going to stress? The first or the second? Lab technician. First or second? First. Okay? So lab technician. Everybody? Lab technician. Again, it's a mouthful, so they just say here, lab tech, okay, lab tech. There are so many other names here, class, but uh, we'll do that some of the time, okay? Uh, you can also call them pathology collector, pathology specimen collector, so for now, let's stick to lab tech, okay? This lady? Pharmacist. Okay. Just listen. Pharmacist. Pharmacist. Everybody? Pharmacist. One more time. Pharmacist. Okay. That guy? Taking patients from one pa from one room to another, from one building to another? Okay, he's a porter. Okay? Porter. Everyone? Porter. Okay. So they can use the the stretcher or the 
Okay, so porters here in Australia are also called. Anybody knows? Start with an O. An orderly. Okay, so this is another name for a porter. An orderly. You will usually hear orderlies or sometimes porters. Porters in a theater but orderlies in a hospital. They're just called orderlies. Okay, let's do the next activity. Okay. So in the, your next activity is a listening task, okay? So all I want you to do is answer the, this part here, okay? Task one, okay? Okay, class. You're going to hear some words um, in the audio, okay? If you don't know some of the words, that's okay. But let's just go through this quickly. If a patient goes in the hospital, they have to fill out paperwork. What is the process called? You know? Anyone? You are admitting a patient. Okay? So let's just do that. Let's just go through the words quickly. Admission. So admitting patient. Another word you might hear. Everyone, what's this? It's an x ray. Very good. In Australia, you call you call these workers as us. Registered nurses or nurses. But also in Australia and in the UK, they call sisters. Okay? So if somebody calls you sister, that means the nurse, the RN or the AIN, okay? Sister. When I used to work in aged care, I've always been called a sister because long time ago, the sisters, the nurses are nuns. So they're nuns. That's why they're called sisters. Oh, just quickly class. This one, very easy. Very good. Bedpan. Okay? So the ladies use this. Okay? For to we or to poo. Okay? Bedpan. If they need to, uh, you know, go to the toilet and they cannot get up from the bed, they have to use this. Okay? All right. Let's do the listening. Are you ready? Just task one. Okay, class? Task one only. So you're going to hear Mrs. Benson is admitted to the hospital and you're going to write five short, you're going to hear five short conversations and decide who is speaking. Okay, so if you hear the first conversation, if you hear, oh, it might be a receptionist speaking and then you put one for receptionist, okay? And then the next conversation, ah, oh, it must be a paramedic and then you put two next to paramedic. Clear? Okay. Unit one. Listening one. An admission. One. Can you hear me? Mrs. Benson? Yes. Where am I? What happened? You're in my ambulance. You've had a fall and we're taking you to hospital. Yes. Now I remember. Two. Right, Mrs. Benson. 
We're going to have a closer look at your heart. Have you had an x-ray before? Yes. I broke my leg once. Three. Hello, Mrs. Benson. How do you feel? Terrible. I've got a terrible headache. And I need to use the toilet. OK. I'll draw the curtains and you can use a bedpan. Dr. Bright is coming to have a look at you in a moment. Four. Mrs. Benson, we've been worried about you, but I've got good news. The x-ray shows your heart is clear, and sister says your blood pressure is back to normal. How are you feeling? I feel fine now. Good. I'm going to prescribe some medicine, and I'm discharging you. Five. Right, Mrs. Benson. So you want to make an outpatient's appointment for next week? Uh, yes, please. Thursday at four? Fine. Good. Next Thursday at four o'clock to see Dr. Lee in outpatients. Okay, so this group, um, Yurika and Kaname, receptionists. Oh, sorry, what was the first one? You heard the first conversation? Everyone, did you get that? Paramedic? Number one is paramedic. In Australia, what do you call paramedics? Another name for paramedic? Anybody? They are called ambulance officers and again, it's a mouthful, so Aussies say Aussies say Ambo. Okay? Yes, and you it's really rare you hear ambulance officers or paramedic. You always hear Ambo, Ambo, Ambo. Okay? Ari and Yuri, what do you have for number, what's number two? Okay, number two is, yeah, it's correct. Okay, radiologist. Okay, now, remember we said a radiologist will check, interpret the um, scans, the images, the x-ray. But they can also they can also prescribe treatment. Okay? Oh, you have a problem. I saw your x-ray, you have a problem. Here's your medicine. Okay, because they are doctors. Okay? Can a radiographer do that? No. Very good. And um, at the back, you Yes, what's number three? Sister. Okay, a sister or a nurse. Next, Kan Kara. Oh, sorry. Tomoko? Okay. Okay, a consultant. Everybody got that? Number four, consultant. Okay, check your work. And then last, number five, Kana. Okay, receptionist. If you need to schedule for your appointment, who do you see? All right, next, we are going to listen to the recording again. So look at task two, okay? Look at task two, read numbers one to six. Just read numbers one to six, six okay? Later, you're going to answer true or false. So if it's true, you write T, okay? If it's false, just F, okay? Ready, everybody? Unit 1. 
Listening 1. An admission. 1. Can you hear me? Mrs. Benson? Yes. Where am I? What happened? You're in my ambulance. You've had a fall and we're taking you to hospital. Yes. Now I remember. Two. Right, Mrs. Benson. We're going to have a closer look at your heart. Have you had an x-ray before? Yes. I broke my leg once. Three. Hello, Mrs. Benson. How do you feel? Terrible. I've got a terrible headache. And I need to use the toilet. OK. I'll draw the curtains and you can use a bedpan. Dr. Bright is coming to have a look at you in a moment. Four. Mrs. Benson, we've been worried about you, but I've got good news. The X-ray shows your heart is clear, and Sister says your blood pressure is back to normal. How are you feeling? I feel fine now. Good. I'm going to prescribe some medicine, and I'm discharging you. Five. Right, Mrs. Benson. So you want to make an outpatient's appointment for next week? Uh, yes, please. Thursday at four? Fine. Good. Next Thursday at four o'clock to see Dr. Lee in outpatients. Um, my ukulele is broken. Can we try number one? What do you have? Please. Everyone, everybody agree? Do you agree? Yep. Yes. Very good. Let me go next. True. Again. True. No problem. Yuki? Yuki? Okay. Why is it false, Yuki? Sorry, what was that? Okay, all right. She wants to go to the toilet, okay? All right, number four. Lin? Okay, do you agree, everybody? Okay, why is it false, Lin? Because she doesn't have, she doesn't have a heart problem. And the number five at the back, Mi Michi Michika. Yes, very good. And last, Miki. Okay, true. Everybody, check your work. Okay, good. All right. Now let's move on to the next task class. Okay. Very good, yes. Thank you for helping. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next um, activity, task three. Now this time, work on your own. And then look at the verbs. These are the verbs to describe jobs. Okay. How many? How many verbs? Ten. Okay, now if you know the word, put it in the no column. If you might know, you know a little bit about the word, put it in the might know column. And if you don't know the word, put it in the last column. Okay, so work on your own. Okay, let's do this together. Okay, I have raise your hand if you know. Move. Raise your hand, everybody. Move. Move, raise your hand. Move. 
from one place to another. Yeah. Raise your hand. You know move. Good. Don't know move. Okay, very good. Next, give. Very easy. Okay. Support. Who doesn't know support? Raise your hand. No? Everybody knows? Very good. Delivers. Any question for delivers? Okay. Alright, so gives. Very easy. Supports. What can be another word for support? Assist. Assist. Did you hear that, class? Very good. Assist. Um, next, perform. Perform. Everybody knows perform? Raise your hand. Who knows perform? Oh, only three or four. Okay. You do something. That's it. When you do something, you perform something. I'm performing. Am I performing? Yes, I'm teaching. Okay, I'm doing something. I'm teaching. I'm performing. Okay, next. Examine. Examine. Okay, when you're checking something. Oh, nice and red. You. Okay. <laughs> Next, treat. Treat. Everybody good with treat? The doctor, when you're sick, the doctor will treat you and probably give you medicine. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, here specializes. Okay, specializes. Remember our cardiologist. What does he specialize in? Treating people with problems with their heart. With their heart. Okay, specializes. Okay. Next, prepares. Oh, very easy. Everybody knows prepares. Yes. Yes. And last, ah. Uh, Takes. Okay? Good? Are we good? Okay, let's do task four now. Let's do task four. Now, this time, class, you have to fill in the gaps. Okay? So you write in the first, you write first column, for example, pediatrician, first column, and then the verb from the second column. Okay? Treats children. Okay, so treats is already done for you. Do the other verbs. Pediatrician and treats finished. So continue number two to ten. Okay, let's check now. Everybody, listen up. Okay, number two, we'll just do this together, okay? Number two, midwife delivers. Three, Yurika. Okay, cardiologist specializes. Number four, porter moves. Five, Radiographer takes six scrub nurse class. What's the answer, class? Support supports and the number seven pharmacist gives pharmacist. What do they do with the medicine? They prepare. they prepare. prepare, they prepare. Okay, pharmacist prepares eight paramedic gives. First aid, okay? Number nine, surgeon performs. performs. And then last, lab technician examines. Examines. Okay. Now class, this time you're going to talk to uh, talk to your partner. Um, talk to your partner and answer the question. Just quickly. All right. So, class, talk to your partner. In task three, there are questions there. Ask your partner the question that you would like. 
to ask her, okay? So you can begin now. Okay, class, sorry to cut you off, but um, it looks like you're having um, so much fun talking and sharing with your new friends, which is good. But you will get to know more about different jobs and you will get to know more what, you know, different jobs and what they do and learn more about healthcare and nursing when you do the course. Okay, so thank you so much for your attention. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate your time. And if you need to um, go to the toilet or have some coffee or tea, you're free to do so. Okay, thank you so much and have a good afternoon.